and uh shit there we are hi everyone welcome to the show you know we knew jeff was going to be gone tonight so i'm like we should do a one shot everyone's like cool that sounds like a great idea <laughs> and i'm like i have no idea what the fuck i want to run and then john's just like i could run something but by then i had an idea in my head and I realize now that I should have just said yes to John. But we're past that point. Uh, we're going to be playing some Mutant Year Zero. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using the Gen Lab Alpha stuff. Uh, but don't get excited. There's nothing post-apocalyptic <laughs> about what's happening tonight. Um, we're going to be playing a gang of rats think like uh, Secrets of Nim style, who live in a shopping mall in the 1980s. Uh, Grim and Perilous Plays, thank you for that sub, Adam, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you all are rats that live in a shopping mall. Specifically, you live in the uh, tobacco uh, store. Uh, Lupin Evendetta, I don't know how to say that, so I'm sure I butchered it, but hey, how's it going? Uh, and yeah, you heard news that there was a fresh shipment of cheese that just showed up, waiting for someone to take it in the pizzeria, specifically Mamma Mia's pizzeria. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, snap, what was that noise? Take that. I'll take nothing. Cheese. Yeah, we're going to take that cheese. We're going to zoom in because we only need this portion of the mall now. Uh, we're going to do some introductions here in a moment, but let's get the... <coughs> so, you all are living in 69 down here. Because uh, nice. That is Churchill's <laughs> Pipe Tobacco. And up in the food court... Where the little star is, number 126. Ooh, I don't think I have pings turned on in this module. There it goes. That's a crazy ping. Uh, you're all going to Mamma Mia's Pizzeria to steal that cheese. Now, traversing the mall at night can be dangerous. There are plenty of other things that live here, along with the creepy things that are dormant during the day while the shoppers are there. So, it's 83. Yes. Anyway, Bert, <laughs> why don't you tell us about who you're playing tonight? I'm playing Riki. Riki the rat tonight. I might be just a little lactose intolerant, but I'm still all in for this. You're just going to really not like my sheets later. True story, true story. John. Yeah, I'm playing Giggles Clar. I'm so excited. What are we getting today? We're good. Good. I'm getting cheese. I'm getting cheese. We're getting cheese. We're getting cheese. Cheese. Ah! So happy. Jeremy. Hey, um, I'm 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 playing Thorny, and uh, you know, just gonna get out there. You know, go beat some people in the face. You know, do some terrible things that are necessary for just you know lots of fun. Very cool. I'm trying to sucker Adam into getting out of chat and joining us here on the screen. We'll see if he does it. Hey, Adam knows how to do this game. He does. Get in here. Come on, you. You'll just have to pretend to be Dan. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that's the... Uh... Are you sure we don't want you in on this one? It's up to you, man. But if you want, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, accents, we're pretty good. You're muted, Bert. Because uh, you don't have to take Dan's bad luck at dice rolling. You, you don't. Can bring you your don't. Own luck. Uh, listen, we're pretty good at maintaining terrible accents for an entire two to three hour stream session. So, yeah, uh, we'll enter in on all of you uh, and your little nest that you've got set up. A couple of empty cigar boxes on a bottom shelf in the cigar shop. You've heard news that, um, yeah, that cheese is showing up. 
Lights are out, doors are locked, all the customers are gone. You're free to move around. What do you all want to do? Did we introduce everyone? I feel like we forgot Jeremy. Jeremy, did we forget you? No, we got you. I just get distracted Wait, so easily. Well, by thinking that you forgot person, me, does that mean that you all? did forget me? Maybe I did. Hey, it's okay. It's a hamburger. I'm just thinking about that cheese. Yeah. And all the terrible things I'm going to do to it. I mean, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat the cheese. I'm yeah. getting the cheese to eat it. We don't know if it's Swiss. Um, hey. Same thing we do every night. <laughs> so... <laughs> We have to wait for the hairspray haze to dissipate before we go in further. <laughs> All of those teenage girls, I swear. Uh-oh, I did it. We, we bullied Adam into joining the game. Give me just a second. Nothing like last minute press gang. <laughs> yeah. Adam, the first link is the table. Remember, folks, peer pressure means you care. It does. Second link is the Zoom chat. Adam, you're going to join. Everyone else is doing it. You should, too. I agree. <laughs> Can I Speaking of joining things, there's a Discord. Oh, yeah. Join our Discord, you nerds. It's great. There's even a command somewhere for Discords. I don't know. I'm changing this to say Adam instead of Steve. No, I'm changing to say Adam instead of Dan. Adam, you still have to play Steve because I'm not changing that much stuff. <clears throat> Chuck has a limit on his processing power. I really do. <laughs> uh, then I got to update this. Overlay might look funky for a moment. Come on. Where is it? Discord changes. Oh, it just disappeared. Who needs that thing anyway? <laughs> oh my gosh, I swear to God. You would think I've never done this before. In fact, he hadn't. Uh, now that we've got dead air. There we go. All right. Now we just got to wait for Adam. All right. So, yeah, you all know that there's a decent number of ways to snake through this area to get to the mall. Uh, most direct route, probably the most dangerous, is the drawing tool. I've moved to... Was it Foundry 10 or whatever? Everything's weird now. Just this. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with it. Is to cut through. From here, you can sneak through the back rows to the pizzeria. Mm. Uh, you could also... I didn't say do that. Oh my gosh. Jeremy, what did you do? Okay. So, you know, we were talking about those girls with the hairspray and whatnot. We may or may not have sprayed a lot of hairspray in their face until that teenage girl passed out. And we tied her up with some time. And what we're going to try and do is ride in her hair as she freaks out, panicking, running through the food court. Oh, wow. We're just going to ride in her hair until the last I second. We're going to jump out. I like it. I just, I just wanted you to do the thing you were talking about with your tail and her mouth. Hey, hey, it's hey. still gonna happen. Have you ever tried to uh, eat one of these things? I mean, you know, eat a little a girl. Little <laughs> I mean, and not here, <laughs> not while she's still alive. No, of course. Hey, I'm not an animal. I am an animal. Yeah, but I would wait till she was dead. So, but if you eat enough of them, eventually they die. He's got That's a good true. point. That's true. Oh, oh okay, okay. New plan. Head cheese. 
There you go. But you can go right in through the brain, right through the nose. Yep. Of all the places I was imagining tonight would go, cannibalism. Hey, it's not cannibalism because cannibalism we're not true. Right for it. That's true. All right, so yeah, you know there's a handful of ways to get there. You could sneak through the, you know, the back ways, holes in walls, moving through stores, eventually having to cut across the hall. You could take the hall itself. Once you get about halfway there, you can either cut around all the other stores to the pizzeria, or you can try and cut through the the back halls, the the maintenance paths. I don't know. Maybe we should go and check out all the stuff in the food court in general. I mean, that, uh, uh, what did you call it, Chuck? Uh, sombreros. They have those, those chiros that are so good. They do. They really do. And they don't make you fat as much. And that is 20, 127. Well, is it's true. right next to the pizzeria. But I've heard bad things about the back rooms. Hey, well, here's the thing, you know, what if, what if we're not the only ones that get the hot tip on the cheese, right? That is true. You, uh, you want to take a risk on not being the ones who get it? Uh, another uh, point of information. Even better, we can see who goes for the cheese, and then we can rob them. They take all the risk, we take all the reward. You're the Truth. smart one. <laughs> You're so dirty. Hey, and I like it dirty. I do. Uh, that is true. You know that you're not the only gang of rats living here in the mall. And if you heard it, surely others have heard it. So I know. So there's still a chance for cannibalism. There is. <laughs> there are any other orphans? I think we should check. Uh, check it out first. And see... Hey, you know, you're the scavenger. You what you say? Hey, I'm I'm here for you. You know, let's uh, let's go make some bad decisions. I can offer my expert medical advice that you should probably not eat the cheese, but go ahead and eat the cheese. Hey, I've got my improbably sized battle axe and hockey mask. I don't know how it works. Doesn't matter. There's an I've heard on the rat grapevine that uh, the, the, the sesame Chinese place did not get the quota of cat tonight, so we should be on the lookout. Oh. Oh, people, oh. you're sick. Yeah, I was, I was going to try and make a joke about how I ain't got time for that, but I just thought I would just say I've got bronchitis. And you're also playing Steve. I'm playing Steve. Cool. The hunter. I can be Steve the hunter. Yes, you can. Because you don't have a choice. Yep, that's that's right. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's time to go get some cheese. You all slip out from your little nest in the tobacco shop. You move out into the main hall. Uh, listen, I'm not discrediting anything. Anything. There very well might be xenomorphs in this. You know very what? small ones. Very small ones. Uh, why don't uh, one of you, the one who would be best at this, go ahead and pick your scouting role. Giggles is literally like twirling and just kind of singing to himself as we go along. La, the scavenger la, is the la, scout, la. so there, I have rolled. Good. I have no idea what these symbols mean. You've definitely got some radioactivity and definitely some okay. biohazard going. So the first thing, that As one, is success. That's all that matters right okay. now. If you were to push this, those biohazard symbols um those counters like ones on the die stress for alien uh those would deal damage to you uh in your wits i believe uh, let's not push it. yeah but by dealing <coughs> damage to yourself by pushing you do get to build up more feral points also adam you start with two feral points awesome as you all move out you're listening hearing 
And you can hear a very uh, familiar squeaking noise. The, all of these different, very rhythmic, like the squeaking of tires on tile. And you all very much know what this is. So, who all remembers last time you were at a mall, uh, an actual mall? Those little animal rides, just like the stuffed animals on wheels that kids can ride on. Mm. As you're all kind of carefully peeking out. You see there's an entire herd of them. Moving through the hallways. <laughs> One of those terrible things of a shopping mall that only present themselves at night. So... Ricky, you did spot them first. Uh, <laughs> so I'll give you the chance to react to this. If you want to roll stealth to try and get out of the way, or try and hide if you want to do movement to try and get the group out of their line of sight. You know these things are predatory, carnivorous. Uh, so sneak would just get me out, but if I do move, I can get everybody out? Sneak would be, let me rephrase that for my words. Sneak would allow you to hide everyone. Move would get everyone to run out of the way. Oh, let's sneak. Let's definitely sneak. All right. Come on. You pull a success? The one. Nice! Oh, yeah, they can't even spot you. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, yeah, you all duck quickly into the neighboring pizzeria, but at the far inferior pizzeria, Dee Dee's Pizzeria, number 68 there. As you dive in, waiting for the herd of giddy-up animals to move past. Um, you know that this pizzeria, they do have food. It is definitely not great. Every now and then you can find some halfway decent items to find things that have fallen out of people's pockets. Some leftover food if you've got the stomach for it. Um, but you're also well aware of that this place is occupied by another group. Um, a small group of thin albino snakes that have taken up residence in the pasta bar. Uh, if you're not careful, if you want to try and move through from the exit, you just jumped in because there's an exit essentially on, we'll call it like the west wall and the north wall. If you want to cut through, you will risk notifying them of your presence. If you just want to slip out into the hallway and try and avoid the herd again, you're welcome to do that as well. What do you want to do? This is one of those between a rock and a hard place deals. We can be eaten by snakes or trampled by those things. Which would you rather? Hey, I'm saying I'd rather, you know, I'll beat the snake if I have to. Never been eaten by a snake. I've never eaten a snake. Snink it is. I'm going to go try and sneak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you're all moving through, you hear from the pasta bar above the sounds of like a conch horn blowing very clearly the snake sounding their alarm through dried pieces of shell pasta <laughs> i knew it i knew it <laughs> as you look up you can see there's three or four of them up above these albino snakes i don't have an image for that because i ran out of time today as they call out if you dirty shits cut through our territory, you must pay the toll. 
But I'm fresh out of quarters. We will hey, take... what if... Roaches. Hey, wouldn't you know? Do I look like I'm flush with roaches? Hey, we're, we're going to a score that's going to have, like, you could you could shake us for, like, a roach now. Or, or you could work with us towards the score we're doing. There's going to be, like, fucking bags of roaches with this cheese. You ever seen cheese delivered that didn't have roaches? We're talking fresh premium cheese. You don't need cheese. For you, fuck cheese. But the roaches that come with the cheese, there's going to be so much... We should be walking together, you know? Why, why, why we have got to have this like rat on snake violence? It's, it's dumb, you know? Uh, I'll tell you what, go ahead. You're going to give me a, uh... ooh, I don't know what skill is best for. I don't know. Talkie -talkie. I'm sure I'm terrible at it. Uh, It would be go uh, dominate. Dominate. Let's do dominate. Yeah. D dominate is kind of their manipulation skill. Uh, okay. Guess what I'm terrible at? <laughs> hey. Uh huh. Do you want to push that? Uh, who am I kidding? You know, I just, I was seeing if you go for it. Yeah, you're not. That's fine. So they all begin rapid descent. Uh, so we're just going to go into initiative here, I think. Yeah. Um, they do. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> they do have to close the distance. So they're going to spend their first turn just getting to you. Because sadly, they're snakes that don't have arms and therefore no ranged weaponry. Um, let's see how initiative works in this. Oh my god. All right, our medic. You see yeah. these three snakes sliding down the side of the pasta bar coming for you. Uh, I guess I'll pull my knife and slice a snake. Snake, snake. How's it going in? Yeah. Okay. They haven't quite made it to you yet. You could run up to the base of the pasta bar and try and make a move, but that's going to put them coming right down on top of your head. They're still slithering down. Hmm. Is there anything small around here I could throw at them? Sure, yeah. There's a, uh, you know, dried piece of sausage on the ground. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll huck a piece of sausage at them. Sure. Go ahead. Um, I was going to eat that. Go and give me a shoot test. Base damage one here. Holy crap, you did two points. So the thing with this game, too, is when you get extra successes, uh, you can do stunts. Mm -hmm. If possible, I'd like to dislodge one and perhaps make it fall. Sure. Well, these stunts are... I guess stunts may not be the best way to describe yeah. it. Uh, so for every extra success. So you got one success. You could do one damage. Uh, you can inflict an extra point of damage. You can pin your enemy down. Uh, you can increase your own initiative by two. Uh, your target drops a weapon. They're not holding anything. Or your target... Oh, shit. Here you go. Target falls to the ground. Or that, is pushed that, back. Be... Yep. I'll make him fall to the ground. All right, so that is going to deal one point of damage to begin with. Uh, they do. There's that. Uh, and I'm going to make them give me a move test. The... Okay, no successes. They're going to take another point of damage for that long drop. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything turned on. This one is now on the ground, isn't able to attack. Next one. The one that fell gets its 
wits about it, and it's going to move up, and it's going to take a bite out of you, Giggles. No! <laughs> no! Oh, but I miss. I miss entirely. You. Get in my <laughs> mouth! Uh, as our scavenger, no? that would be Steve. Or no, that's Bert. That's Ricky. Ricky, one snake's on the ground. The other two are sliding down this salad bar. I'm pop one with my slingshot. Nice. Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is one point of damage with one stunt. Uh, so if you're shooting one of the ones on the wall, you get kind of the same breakout. You want to do an extra point of damage. You want to knock it down. Extra point of damage. Okay. No, no need in getting it down here faster. All right. And of course, my slingshot is shooting hardened rat turds. Of course. That's the best that's what we have ammunition. to work with. <laughs> Steve, you're up. And then the one that uh, was like, get in my mouth, I'm going to take out an arrow and draw the bow and try and shoot towards its mouth. I'm going to say, chew on this. Nice. So I'm going <laughs> to the, the arrow. I don't remember. I think you've got a bunch of cool stuff you can do. Uh, oh, that's going to build... Oh, and quick fire. You can just pull arrows out. You don't need to spend a quick action to ready your bow. But right. you do shoot. And you do miss completely. Uh, you can push that if you want to. But I would like to point out that your bow would break. Your bow would break. Because mm -hmm. it's just going to... No. Yeah. We're not going to push that. Um, so, uh, since... Since I can load my bow quickly, I'm just going to back up some, give myself a better angle to okay. shoot next round. Sure, yeah. As the final centipede closes down, all three are on the ground now. Thorn. Hey, okay. So we said this is like in the 80s, right? Oh, yeah. People clearly smoked in the mall in the 80s, right? Absolutely, they did. Maybe there's some big fuck all ashtray and these snakes are all coming in i want to lift up one of them ashtrays and come bringing it down to try and trap a couple of these snakes here underneath it okay cool uh i am gonna want we're just gonna do a force test on this hey now that's my language and a big giant fuck off ashtray i'm gonna say that's base damage too so Two damage with a success. Uh, if you want to use that extra success to pin them down. Yeah, I do. All right. So let's get us a circle out here. Uh, these two here. Are pinned down. And they are going to each take two damage. Oh, well. All right, you guys are doing good. Back to the top. Giggles, it's your turn. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to draw my knife and stab it. Sure. <laughs> now, the one that was trying to eat you is now pinned under an ashtray. Are you still going for that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. But I missed. You did. Do you want to uh... push that? Will that break your knife, though? Yeah. All right. The whole thing. All right, so the one that is not trapped under an ashtray. Uh, it's going to come after you there, Thorn. Because uh, you've made yourself a threat. Uh, oh, God. No. No. All right. Hey, what are you doing? The grown-ups are playing. The snake trapped under an ashtray is going to try and force its way free. And it does not manage to squirm out. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Bert, what are you doing? Uh, does Ricky have any more targets that he can hit that aren't in melee? 
uh, they're all pretty much in melee at this point. Uh, rats. Uh, I, I will just join in with my, my closest companion and just rake at them. Okay, sure. Uh, you'll give me a fight test. Base damage is one. I'm not good at this. And you miss. No, no. Now, if I push, though, I don't have any of those radioactive symbols, so I would not take automatic damage. If you roll some of those radioactive symbols on the dice you push, you might. Okay, but uh, just off the bat, I won't. Off the bat, right now, the way it's looking, no. Okay. Um. So how do I re-roll? Is there a button? Uh, there is a push button on push your button. Characters. I see it. Oosh. I still got nothing, but still no radioactive nothing. signals. Now, I do have the tenacious talent that says you can push a die roll twice. You can. You want to push okay. that again? Okay. I'm going to push it again. Oh! You deal I did hit this. <laughs> one point of damage. Uh, and that is actually enough to kill one of those snakes. Uh, but you do take Dang one these. point of strength. Dirty damage. white noodle. Uh, but the cool thing about taking that strength damage, it also increases your feral points. Uh, and you can use those feral points to activate your animal powers for you, your tail, and your climber ability. Gotcha. All right, Steve, one snake down. One's under an ashtray, and the other one is trying to eat thorn. All right, so I was circling around a little bit. I'm going to circle around a little bit more with my sure. um, maneuver action, and then I'll uh, uh, try and uh, help out Thorn because sure. that one's that one's uninjured. Like, is it, yeah, that one's uninjured. Is it like wrapped around him or anything no, like that? No, it's just biting at him currently. All right. Well, in between bites, I'm going to line it up for when the head draws back. Sure. And I'm going to uh, wait for when it bites and then fire. So that way, when the head draws back, it will pull back into it. Sure. And going to see if we can thread this needle. Nice. Because this this particular arrow I'm shooting is literally a needle. Nice. <laughs> uh, you do po uh, land one point of damage. Do you want to push that? Eh, we'll stay conservative for now. Okay. You know, not not go too whole hog. So. Sure. Thorn, uh, a needle just sprouted out of the side of the face of the snake that you're fighting. <laughs> oh man, look at you! That's I got you just... three. I can't count. <laughs> so. Uh... Oh man, I just had great. Wait, hey, this this axe guy, my sheet there. Yeah, I'm a rat. What if it's not like even like an actual axe? What is it? Can I have, can I just have a pizza cutter as my sure. axe? Sure. So like one of those snakes was trying to get like he's trying to get out of the the, the ash tree, right? Oh god, yeah. Do you run up to that I'm, one? And... I'm gonna wait till right when he starts to come out. I'm gonna roll that pizza cutter right over him. All right, roll me that test with your pizza cutter. Then I think you can roll that off your gear sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, good god all right <laughs> and uh, add one more to that damage you cut this snake's head clean off as it's Stumble. trying to squirm out from underneath the pizza cutter <laughs> all right one snake remains it's got this terrified look on its snake face and our medic giggles is up so Giggles goes over and stabs his knife into the snake head that just was decapitated and points it at his friend. He's like, I think I should leave. Maybe I, you should go too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. This guy's a wordsmith. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Okay, you can see that this snake realizes its mistake and it's going to attempt to flee on its turn which is now so it turns around and starts slithering back up the side of this pasta bar uh bert you're up you can choose to do nothing or you see it climbing up 
I'm a vengeful sort of rat. I'm going to peg it with my slingshot. Go for it. Teach him a lesson. Yeah. Pff, I miss. <laughs> you going to push that? <laughs> no. Okay. If he gets away, he gets away. The hardened rat turd just pings off the wood next to it. Steve? S Steve is a spiteful person. He's just going to wordlessly take the uh, another bow, uh, arrow out and, and uh, draw his bow and try and lead him a little bit and see what happens. Sure. I'm trying to lock this thing. Conflicts and trauma. I need to find actions in combat. I mean, he was meant to get away. Okay. Uh, I was just looking, because you can... If you aim, you get a... Yeah, you can use your like fast action to aim and oh. get a plus one. So if you want to roll uh, another d6, if you would have... Because you said you'd take it out, you're not moving. You can aim it. Yeah. Yeah, just give me a d6. Right. You'll have to type it in manually. Flash R space 1d6. No. Nah. All right. Thorn, you see that the snake's about to slip over the edge of the salad bar. Is there anything you want to do here? You're just letting it go. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was going to like try and do the, like, you know, hey, yo, uh, you know, you, your friend's dead. You come join us. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You're not going to do that. Do you mind if I just going to pull this off your knife here? I'm going to pull the head off of his knife and I'm just going to hammer throw it. Just kind of spin around and throw his friend's head at him. Uh, give me a shoot test. I was going to study that and maybe eat it later. There's another dead snake down here. You do hit <laughs> for one oh. point of damage. It's not enough to kill it. It's it still got <laughs> most of its hit points. You know, if you want to pull another success, you could knock it back down to the ground. But you'd have to push for that. No, man, I just want to traumatize him. <laughs> That's so much better and, than that. And then the crunch as it lands next to you. You remember who did this to you? Hey, you like that character art? Thanks to Mid Journey. Okay. Combat wraps. Unless, Giggles, there's anything you want to do on your turn that's combat no, I related. Just, it, I'm just going to remove the head and and be studying it. And I am a medic, after all. You are, yes, you Possibly are. Possibly munching on bits of it as I go, though. It's not important. So. Absolutely. I'm going to try and recover some of my shots, if possible. Uh, you know, we'll say you do one shot. I'm not too interested in counting ammo right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll pause to make more shots. You could go find some dried spaghetti noodles. Use those. Oh, Otherwise, I have wait a till movement after... coming. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we, yeah, we'll just, tr we'll just not track ammo. I think that's easier for one shot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you all move back out into the hallway. You can see that the herd has moved. I just gotta scroll way down there. Way down this direction. Uh, heading, heading off away from you. Uh, you can see. A little further down the turn off to go down either the back hallway or you can cut around and just traipse through the food court itself uh, what do you all want to do oh let's go to the food court and see what other interesting things are going on this evening i'm feeling good feeling good me too hey 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 what if I cut open these dead snakes' bellies, right? And we put them over ourselves. And we kind of crawl all willy-nilly. And if something bad happens, we'll leave the snake body there for them to look at. And we skitter away. I like this idea. And I start immediately cutting open a snake. And Eagles, how does that snake taste, by the way? 
<laughs> so slathered in that red sauce. It must be good. Tastes a bit, bit good, huh? And so maybe yeah. everyone takes psychic damage. <laughs> Uns, my only weakness. <laughs> yeah. Good reason. As you're all making it further down the hall, you're moving past all the other stores on the way, and you can see the door leading to the back hall. So and this you, giant, this snake the has door. like uh, eight little legs. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You're all inside this snake like you're carrying a canoe. Who, who's in the lead? I think, I don't know. Who would be in the lead here? I'm the scout. I'll be the lead. Okay, so yeah, you've got the mouth drooping open so you can look out. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, we have to walk like this so we oh, look yeah. like a snake. <laughs> Serpentine. Uh, all right, Ricky, go and give me another scout test. Scouting test coming up. Uh, scout, scout, scout. Oh, good. It's not affected by the things that are broken. Okay, one. Okay, yeah, you do good. Uh, as you're moving along, you hear it, a small voice in the distance, it sounds like, um, and it's, and you'll have to forgive me as I attempt this very difficult accent for me, like, uh, oh, boy. oh my gosh, what is that? That snake looks totally weird. Uh, and you hear it there, Ricky. You can react how you want. You don't see anything, but you heard it. I think one of those weird animals that wears all the hairspray still around looking at us right now. That's more snake like. And I do that. <laughs> Should we be aggressive? <laughs> Sure, yeah. Uh, and you act more snake-like to continue your ruse. Oh my gosh, it's hissing louder. I think it, well, I hope it can't get up here. Uh, but yeah, you can easily move past. If anyone wants to take a peek out to try and see what's going on, you can. Or just ignore it and move on. Yeah, uh, take a peek out and just give me a scout test. I'm good at these. No, you're not. You're really not. No. Do you want to push that? Oh, sure. You do take a point of damage to that stat. It should do it automatically. Yep, you have yeah, one out of actually, two wits. It, yeah, and it even added the Pharaoh point on. That's pretty nice. slick. Nice. So, yeah, you all continue on. I'm gone. Eventually... You clear around the corner, uh, around, what is 113? That is the Piercing Palace. And on up through the food court. Now you can see, and I should have totally, do I have time? Adam, do I have time? I think you do. Yes. Because I mid-journeyed a few things. Let's do a handout really quick. I just want to. Oh no, let's do a scene. Even better. And we're going to go all players and we're going to load up our image. Sure, we'll stick it in the Brat Music folder. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Nobody wants a grid. Let's let you all see. Yes. As you all find yourselves peeking out at the empty food court, all the chairs have been put up for the night. You can see a little ways down the warm glow of the Mamma Mia's Pizzeria sign. Uh, but as you're moving up, uh, you there, Ricky, can see kind of shifting through the shadows here and there, a group 
of four small creatures hugging along the wall, moving towards it. Why don't you give me a scout test? It's up, guys. Okay, you uh, can't make out. Failed that. Yeah, I would imagine you probably don't want to push that and take two damage. Oh, no. You you can't make out what it is, but you do know that there is something there. What do you want to do? Anyone else get the better look over there? I uh, hear that. So I'll try and scope it out. Sure, scout test. Mm -hmm. At this point, Giggles is just like looking out of the rear end of the snake, <laughs> uh, facing the wrong way. Uh, sure there, Steve. You peek out. That's another thing that I forgot to turn on. The selective show. And it is a rival gang of rats who looks like they're Ooh. also moving on their way towards the pizzeria. Now, this rat gang, much like you, a bunch of miscreants uh, prone to more violent actions and thievery. Uh, the name of this rat gang is called Rats Off To You. So far, they haven't noticed you, but you are in disguise as a large snake. So mm -hmm. it's probably just a short amount of time until you're spotted. All right. See them over there. It's that other group. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, what is the name of all of yours, Rat Gang? What's that fallout thing? Is it Tunnel Snakes? Tunnel Snakes, yeah. Tunnel Rats. Tunnel Rats rule. Tunnel Rats, that's it. You're the Tunnel Rats. Oh, it's Tunnel Rats rule. Oh, I'm sorry. Tunnel, tunnel Rats rules. rule. We all have our first look back. Yeah. You hey, my pompadour is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> the secret is whenever you, you run on, you know, when you're a little bit runny, you know, you use that to moose it. Mm. It's so gross. <laughs> I'm so goddamn second. classy. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. A second. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Gross or inventive? Hmm? What do we want to do about them? All right, so like, all right, let's go all in on the snake thing. Like, we could like try to be sneaky, or I mean, no, we ain't got nothing to like really make the snake roll. Like, if we could like make the snake body roll one way and then we run another way, is that a thing we can do? Sure. Uh, just be, uh, one of you will take the primary on a move test, uh, but when you roll it, right click on the stat, uh, or no, I just, just click on it and then just, uh, increase your base by three. Who wants it? Oh, I've got a pretty decent move. All right. So, yeah. Take a move test with a plus three. Yep. And I right click, it does not let me. Oh, wait. Just and regular right click, click on it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And then add three to the base. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. A success. Okay, yeah. You all work in unison to roll this snake off of you and go running the other direction. Uh, immediately as you do so, uh, you hear the twang of a sling bolt whizzing past and striking the corpse of the snake along with... Uh, a couple arrows strike the body of the snake. Uh, you're all running away as you hear them talking. Ah, 
We killed us a snake. Oh, man. We can use that snake's body to load all the cheese up into it and just drag the snake home. I'll turn to the other three and say, somebody call for an exterminator. <laughs> yeah. So what do you, what's the plan? <laughs> you can see they're walking up towards the snake at this point. Thorn has a plan. And Steve <laughs> seconds that plan. Yeah, let's like... Well, you're distracted. Let's strike. Finally. Call right. the shot. Hey, right. We're good people here. I'm all Make sure to slick back my hair some. All right. We are going to oh, do an opposed test here. Uh, one of them is going to roll a scout test and one of you is going to roll a sneak test to see if you can close in without them noticing uh for their team uh, i did get two successes uh ricky i think you're the sneakiest one here i can try um Dave, hey, yeah, it was your your decision, Steve. If you want it, you can roll it. Otherwise, Ricky will do it. Yeah, Steve, I guess Steve, yeah, you're pretty good at that, too. All right. Go for it, Steve. Steve reporting as I uh, try and sneak forward. Yeah. Any modifiers? No, just roll it. Okay. Wait, whoops. I should have clicked on the wrong thing. Hang on. Oh, hang there on. This could be an option. Uh, okay. You pulled one success there. You could use your silent animal power. Oh. Uh, if you use one point, you'll get a plus two. If you use two points, you'll get a plus four. All right. Well, we'll use one. All right. Give me roll another 2d6. It's just sixes on this. That does not clear yeah. it. Do you want to push? Yeah, we better push here. All right. Go ahead and hit that push button. Uh, and then roll me another 2d6. <laughs> that turns that into four successes. But I would take one to my agility. You will take one. Oh, it looks one. like it already took it. Yeah, yep. it'll do the math automatically. Sweet. Uh, Does he have to roll for uh, uh, the feral stuff kicking over? Oh, I guess that is a thing, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't read the rules. I think it's like roll two uh, a d6 for each feral point spent. And if you get a one, then there's a chance you go feral. Oh, yeah, I remember that for mutations. I'm mutant year zero. Yep. Yeah. All yep. right. So give me a uh, 2d6. Uh, you just spent one point. So give me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1d6. One one six. Six. <laughs> so is it if it's a one, your ability activates or a six? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's a one. Because then, because then when it activates, there's like a different chart you roll on, and like a six actually gets you a because you develop like another animal power, um, but like a one sends you like feral and off into the building. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so yeah, if you roll a one, yeah, yeah. you're fine then. Okay, your feralness doesn't activate. Okay. Yeah, you all can very easily maneuver into an ambush position. Uh, for, for a moment there, I was about to overload my aggression inhibitors. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put our initiative out there. You all get a free round. And, uh, and then 
depending on who's alive on the second round, they'll get to join initiative. So Steve, you're up first. Oh, they'll never know what hit him. So I'll try and shoot him sure. from, from behind a piece of cover or something while sure. I sneak around. Single point of success. Do you want to push that? Uh, already took one damage. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you put a point of damage on a rat by the name of Cheeks. <laughs> All right, our medic giggles. Dead. <laughs> Step. I'm gonna push. Okay. Who damage? Nice. Uh, is there any particular enemy you're going for? No, no, just whoever. Uh, you run after the rat that's in the lead, a big heavy rat by the name of Fink. Come on now. I don't know what's up. I'm just going to keep going. Oh, my foundry's crashing. That's what's up. All right. Ray. Ricky, you're up. Yay. There, it catches up to me. Ricky would like to use his slingshot against one of them. Sure. Any preference? Uh, the leader, if I can peg him. Sure. Or whoever appears to be the leader. One success, one damage. A hardened rat turd pings off of Fink. Who's already been Take yesterday's stabbed. leavings, you bastard. Nice. Thorn. Hey, you know, I'm classy and all. We gotta... Let's do this right. You know, we're gonna murder the person they, they look up to most. And then maybe we can assimilate the rest. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I'm just gonna try and, like, disembowel Fink. Sure. Oh. That's gonna be... Yeah. <laughs> You know, and add plus one of the damage for what it's worth, because I'm a weapon master. Oh. I know this pizza cutter like nobody's business. I train <laughs> with it with the crack of dawn every day. Uh, you chop hard into Fink's thigh, and just this Tarantino-esque spray of blood just goes squirting across the room. Uh, Fink has been slain. It's delicious. G G Giggles is also he's like <laughs> dancing in the blood fountain. <laughs> he's having a good time. All right. As the next turn comes around, Steve, you're up. You just watch their leader, Fink, go down. All right. Well, it's nighttime, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, become one with the night as I spend a point on my nocturnal ability. Okay. Um, which would give me a plus one to modifica modification to sneak, shoot, and scout at night, which I should have done that earlier. Okay, yeah. But, uh, uh, mm -hmm. When you click it, just increase whatever your base is by one. And then uh, um, let's see here. So I got to roll that 1d6 for the usage of the point, right? Uh yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, and um, so there's three left, right? Three left. Any yeah. of them? Any of them been pegged before? Did we all uh, focus fire the last? Yeah, uh, the one that you shot the first time, uh, cheeks, is looking pretty rough. Has one of your needles sticking out of him. All right. Well, I uh, just reach back and I pull out a. Uh, Uncooked spag spaghetti string and nice. um, fire that one hey, towards him. He's going to double penetrate that cheeks. <laughs> yeah, you know how I like it. Raw. <laughs> yes. That's the sushi joint. I know. All right. That is one point of damage. 
and I'm just good at good at rolling ones. So uh, you know what, cheeks is not very tough, so that is enough to break cheeks. Oh, so let's see what critical injury cheeks ends <laughs> up with. Uh, you shoot cheeks right in the face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> looking at all the extra bits when i click on that like we are ignoring so many rules tonight and I yeah i like it the that like um spaghetti string just like pummels him yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> doesn't even penetrate it just uh, breaks his face yeah he's just shards uh it's like uh what is it? Earlier today, we watched, uh, was it Little Cuties with Lupita, the child zombie movie? Oh, yeah. There's a zombie that ate a porcupine and just had all this shit all out of its face. That's what this thing looks like. Just bunches of little spaghetti shards all out of its face. Giggles, you've been sprayed with blood. I'm in my happy place. There you go. I, and I and I realized I haven't described Giggle's knife. Giggle's knife is a toenail clipping stuck into a like a hardened wad of gum. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. And uh, there's a couple more left, right? So I'll go run up to one of them and take a stab. Sure. Uh, you run up to Mozart. And you uh, miss. Nope. I miss. <laughs> yeah. You could push that if you want to, but your knife's going to break. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Uh, Mozart's turn. He pulls out his knife, and he tries to stab you right back. Uh, and I do two points of damage to you. You. Uh, let's see. I probably used my fast action just moving over there. Yeah, so. you yeah. did. Yep. Just got to take it. All right. I'm going to move you over here just so we can keep track of who's where a little better there we go uh ricky ricky would like to try and hurdle another rat turd sure do you want to hurdle it at the one that just stabbed uh giggles absolutely yeah absolutely can't be hurting our medic one point of damage do you want to push that um well uh, i'm sorry stunt, can i get the second point of damage you can yeah yeah. Okay, you shoot Mozart. He's looking rough as he's been pelted in the face with a hardened rat turd. Thorn. <laughs> All right, now like, hey, I see it. I see this Mozart guy. He's got that shitty grin going right now. Because even though it hurts, I know he likes it. Oh, but there's yeah. the. It looks like there's maybe one more that like he hasn't gone yet, right? Yeah, and that would be Sniffer. Oh, Sniff, I see you back there. I see you being snaky. Sneaker, no sneaking. No. Well, go get him. All right. And add one more damage to that because I am a weapon master. Uh, that's that's a one shot, man. <laughs> I just come running at him. And the, I'm, as I'm running, the pizza cutters just roll along the ground and then it just comes up. Just that back spin on it. Yeah. Uh, you start on the <laughs> shin, just right up the uh, leg, across the torso. Uh, you've almost completely cut Sniffer in half. <laughs> uh, Steve, you're up. So there's the one left on... Uh, on um, uh, Giggles, yeah. Giggles, yeah, so... Uh, as uh, Giggles is moving around, I'm going to uh, thread that shot. Sure. Um, as uh, I've got, uh, you know, a needle with some thread still on it. And I'll just uh, uh, shoot that with a streaming nice. thread behind it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, Oak. How's it going? One point of damage. You're really good at rolling one point of damage, but all I you am. needed was one point of damage. <laughs> Never know what hit him. As the needle pierces through, but the string's knotted a little ways down, and so it just catches him and just 
pulls Mozart back a few feet uh, as he just yanked suddenly after being pierced. Uh, it looks like you've got a free run to the pizzeria at this point. Oh, good. I want to see if I can collect a weapon from one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I wish I would have been remembering that can happen before I just deleted all their tokens. <laughs> Let me get them back and I'll tell you what you got. <laughs> Let's see. This one's down here. So we had Cheeks. We had Fink. We had Mozart. We had Sniffer. So, looting the bodies. Uh, Cheeks actually didn't have anything. Oh god. Fink had a crude, small, makeshift revolver. Oh jeez. What? <laughs> like a tiny little toy cut. <laughs> yeah. Modified. Uh, so in the the items journal, you can just search for revolver, and it's in the weapons core book. Definitely taking me a revolver. Uh, Mozart <laughs> had a slingshot and a knife. And Sniffer didn't have anything. So you've got a revolver, and there's a slingshot and a knife. Say hello to my little friend. Just like this very crude, like... Like a small bit of tubing. Maybe like a thimble that's been hammered down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, you know, look over, acknowledge Gilbert's fine, and say, I hear that. Nice. I hear that. Is Does anybody else want the knife? Sounds like it's yours. All right, I'll take a knife. I have two knives. Just search for knife, add it to your sheet. Um, yeah. Y'all making your way to Mama Mia's Pizzeria? I'm gone. And so I start to walk off towards that way, that direction. Yeah. Uh, you easily, you make it over there. It's one of those things where, like, it's got this big open entryway with this, like, that steel gate, um, like you see in malls. So it's, for you all, it's very easy to get in. You just slip on in. There's the dark light. They've still got the, um, like, the little, like, display case going with the lighting in it. So you can see, like, the specialty kind of pies that they make. Um, you know where the storeroom is, and as you're moving back there, you all hear a scraping noise, and then from a table nearby, this giant Parmesan, like, shaker, like you'd see in Pizza Hut, comes tumbling off the table and just crashes and clatters against the floor. Not too far from where you're at. What do you want to do? We're all around, pointing my gun. Sure. Yep. <laughs> Anyone who's looking around for what's responsible, uh, go ahead and give me that scout test. Scout. Adjusting a few things. See, this is the problem. I said, you know what? It's not a problem. I'll just throw this one thing in this folder. Uh, and then I open up the folder for pictures, and I'm confused why my pictures aren't there. So let's see how y'all did. Uh, Thorn, you did good. Steve, not so. Giggles. I'm not surprised. Uh, and Ricky, you did good. 
Giggles is just helping himself really to just handfuls of Parmesan right now. As you all look up at the top of this cave table, it looks like the pizzeria has gotten themselves a pet cat. As you can see, these yellow eyes just staring <laughs> down from all of you from on top of this table. It's tracking you. It's up to you what you want to do at this point. Fight, run, hide, escape. Shoot that cat right between the eyes. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat? <laughs> yeah, I ain't running from no cat. No way, no how. <laughs> gonna walk over to that 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 parmesan shaker i'm gonna clang my pizza cutter against it draw its attention uh you draw its attention as ricky it looks down at you or down at uh where thorn is you've got a clear shot you've got a goddamn gun <laughs> take the shot take the shot no hey. Uh, let's see, Steve. Oh, yeah. You can pull a shot as well if you want. I hear that. Uh, so, Ricky, do you want to push that? No, <laughs> I'll take the I'll take the the one hit with two damage. Sure. All right. It soaks this thick fur. Soaks one of your points of damage. And then Adam, Steve, come on, roll it. Ooh, somehow you get your arrow to land just right, completely bypasses. Your damage carries through. This is sadly a natural armor, so you don't shave the cat with one tiny arrow <laughs> strike. You called the thunder. <laughs> All right. The cat gets its first turn. Turn first. Uh, well, first thing it's going to do is leap down off the table at all of you. Uh, it is a cat, so it gets a bonus to this. Oh, and I still failed. Oh my. The cat like, <laughs> lands and slightly twists <laughs> its cat ankle, taking a point of damage from the fall. God. <laughs> I just I hold up my pizza cutter as it's coming down. Hey, twist away from that. With Thorn. Keep, keep it up, I dare you. It does take <laughs> a swipe at you. Dealing one point of damage. And there's no parrying or anything like that. In this, uh, you have not taken your turn yet, so you could mm. give me a fight test to see if you can parry it. And now don't forget, Thorn, I think you're one of the few people that have armor. I do, yes. Yeah, I think it's just because you're the warrior class and the warrior starts mm. with uh, one of their things is some armor. So I've got hockey pads. Uh, hockey pads nice. should count. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and parry, though. There's no reason not to try. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, so your hockey pants give you armor six against oh, melee. Oh, my works. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so you parry for two. Uh, that is going to negate all the damage as you easily swipe this cat's paw aside with your pizza cutter. Giggles. Uh, yeah, Giggles is gonna he's gonna dance that up and try to stab the kitty. Sure. He's got one strength. He's fine. You do hit. <laughs> night, night, Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> but you don't make it through its thick fur. Yeah. Steve. I'll just say, finally, as I uh, draw another shot towards it, I'm going to aim. Sure. 
uh, with this. I'll give you a plus one. Okay. Ooh, you keep rolling those uh, um, yeah. biohazard. You uh, are filling in for Dan tonight, so I guess that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. No, Dan would roll them um, after he what? failed when he pushed. Oh, uh, I, yeah. I'm at least yeah. lucky enough to roll them before I get to choose. <laughs> but your arrow does make it through the fur. Ricky, you're up. Ricky wants to shoot again. Yeah. So I started blasting. Uh, <laughs> you know, four damage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh. You blow <laughs> this cat's in one ear, out the other. Okay. <laughs> Snuggle that, you little bastard. As the rats defeat the cat. You have free access to all of the cheese. Hey, Jeff. You're there. Hi. Hey, we oh. just killed the cat. They did. <laughs> Want to see what cat tastes like? I always get it when it's already made into like low mein and stuff. I never had it fresh before. God. You it's eat chance. some cat. <laughs> it's delicious why do they cook this this is excellent it's so good i'm gonna make it we should all make like uh those things like i've seen the pictures like you wear them over your shoulders or something they they do the uh, hats yeah not we, wrong we should make we should make head hats <laughs> yes yes hey 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 if we can kill a cat Who's to say we can't kill that one with the hairspray? I'm yeah, telling you, could. I bet they're great eats. Right? They do smell an awful lot like the pork domain. And like, hey, what if we just keep building the bigger and better? Like, this is an opportunity cost. Like, we take a little bit of cheese, we set it out, and of course, everybody likes cheese. It's just so like, say, she's going to see the cheese and come for it. And then we're gonna we're gonna shoot her and stab her and then we're gonna eat her eyeballs. Lord, I love your plans you come up with every night. It's so fun. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's get the cheese so we can set these traps. You all gather the cheese, you set your traps. <laughs> That's the end of what I have ready for tonight. <laughs> we will wrap our one shot there. I do want to show you all. We feast upon Nancy and her hair spring. Uh, the, the talking that you heard was this. They were mall spiders. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. As Tiffany's, I think I'm alone now, plays on the speakers. <laughs> nice. That's great. All right. Yeah, that's where we'll wrap it. That's the end of a one shot. We'll be back next Wednesday. For the finale of chapter one of All Fear the Ishtar. Uh, and I heard it's going to be someone's birthday on that day. And they've been given permission to just completely murder the rest of the party. So mm -hmm. it's going to be fun. Who would have given that permission? Uh, so Steve. Yeah. yeah, Steve gets to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap this up. Adam, thanks for hopping in last second. Yeah. Uh, Thanks Dan, for bullying me into it. Yeah, Dan sent me a text <laughs> shortly after, and he's just like, oh, man, I uh, went to go take a nap, but I forgot how time works. And he set his alarm for 8.15 and not 7.15. Mm. So he, he missed out. It's too bad. Yeah, if it would have been yesterday or the day before, I'd have just been like, oh, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. But I'm feeling cool. a little better. Well, it's good. Glad you're feeling better, though, Adam. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, Adam, I'll do a little talking for you so you don't have to do so much talking. Unless you want Appreciate to do talking. It. Yeah, I'll do no, talking. No, I don't. Uh, head on over to our website, Grim and Perilous Plays. Or, I'm sorry, that's the Twitch. <laughs> Grimandperilous.com. You get links to all of our stuff there. YouTube, Twitch. Check out our store. You can uh, 
get links through our Amazon page, our drive through RPG page. Everything helps out the studio. Uh, we've got a cool new project that Adam's probably told me about and I've forgotten that Adam will be able to make a cool announcement here soon. Um, I don't know, this Saturday we're scheduled for a wrap up of our Zweihander one shot we were doing. That's uh, either 9 or 10 p.m. Central. I don't know anymore. Uh, over on twitch.tv slash Grim and Perilous Plays. Uh, yeah. GMP. Yeah. Uh, Bert, what you got happening? Oh, um, hmm. well, this Saturday we've got some Cyberpunk Red going on. A little uh, Cyberpunk slash sitcom like called Choom. That's continuing on. I may or may not have anything this Friday. Lots of folks are sick that's in that game, but if we do, it's a BX Dungeons and Dragons game. And this Sunday, I think it's a Shadowrun Sunday. That sounds so, right. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't do it the other day. Yeah. That's right. Shadowrun. Nice. Uh, Jeremy, you want to tell us about this Patreon? Yeah, Aaron Reese on Patreon. You can get comic books, you can get maps, you can get tokens, you can get all sorts of great stuff. Check it out. Very cool. Uh, and as far as for Defenders of Cobalt, you're here. Um, Friday, we'll be back with our Dungeon Crawl Classics Dead Sun campaign. Uh, we're moving very quickly towards wrapping that up. Uh, and then also I want to put out there the day after Thanksgiving, the national capitalism holiday. Uh, we're doing a double header of a DCC funnel that I'm putting together. Um, I still, I, I have a working title, but it is not appropriate. So, uh, but essentially it's going to be a funnel where the party is playing as a bunch of disgruntled Santa's elves fighting their way through a shopping mall. It might be the reason why I made the map for this shopping mall uh, in a um, quest to kill Santa Claus. Um, so that'll be 25th day after Thanksgiving. Uh, but yeah, so DCC Friday and next Wednesday. We'll be back all through the Ishtar, our alien campaign. Um, you know what, Jeff? The name that I picked out for this one shot, it's... The I think, No, I think it's hilarious. It's just, if I ever want to sell it somewhere, I definitely can't use that name. Say it. Say it. Say it. Okay. Let me check to see who's watching in chat. If you can't say it on your own channel, Chuck. I mean. All right, cool. My wife isn't watching. I can say it. Right. <laughs> hey, look at him. He's got the rat balls. <laughs> so big. Working title. No. Uh, the name of the current working name of the adventure is Fuck Them Kids, a Defenders of, Ho <laughs> uh, Defenders of Kobold. <laughs> holiday adventure where you have to fist fight a bunch of kids on your way to go kill Santa um, yeah so I'm sure I it's all good I do. <laughs> yeah. all right let's get out of here thanks for watching everyone uh, make sure you follow sub however it works if you haven't checked out our YouTube go check out our YouTube because I need followers there uh because I want them. Anyway, goodbye. Eat all the things. Oh, I didn't even... Hang on. <laughs> I didn't click the buttons. I gotta go over here and click end screen. Go over here and click end video. Okay, that's it. Goodbye, everyone. Arf. <laughs>